Hey folks, Matt Wilson with BTB Security, back for this week's edition of BTB Reacts. And unless you've been living under a rock for the past week, you've probably seen something, something about Facebook and phone numbers. So let's jump right into it. And as we do a lot of times here on BTB Reacts, Brian Krebs, great information. Uh, I have no affiliation with him. I just think some of the research he does um, and the stories he brings forward are, are some of the best. Uh, that I've seen in this space. And the, the real cool thing to me about Krebs is he didn't start out as an InfoSec guy. He started out as an actual credentialed for real journalist. That was his background was in journalism. Um, so the, the quick hit on the story is uh, over the last week or so, it's hit all of the news sources and in, including like national news and the, and the CNNs and Foxes of the world where, you know, these phone numbers have been breached and whether you consider a phone number to or exposed, I should say, not breached. Um, whether you consider um, a phone number or sensitive information or not, I'm not here to debate that. Um, I, I know a lot of that data is already fairly readily accessible, uh, but remember, it's not just the one data point from the one source. It's the, the aggregation of all the data points across all of these sources and what that could turn into. And think about um, how your phone is leveraged increasingly for multi-factor authentication, right? You have to authenticate to your bank or to um, maybe a gaming uh, gaming service or uh, vendor. You know, you're going to get uh, a text or a call, something to your phone. And while having the number doesn't mean that your phone is immediately compromised, um, as we've covered in other BTB reacts, um, there is some risk to folks, you know, knowing and targeting your phone number again, along with other data points they could gather about you for name and address and so on. So not a good look. Uh, it's not doomsday, but not a good look. Um, there's not too much detail on exactly what happened. That's not, as far as I can tell, well established. Uh, but for sure, while it's making the rounds here in April uh, 2021, back in January 2021, there was a tweet uh, that mentioned this database that had gone up for sale back in June 2020. And here's the screenshot that Krebs so kindly provides uh, along the way to show that this data was made available. It's international data, so it's 533 million globally. I'm sure some of those are duplicates and so on. Um, now, as we jump to the, the Business Insider, uh, we'll link to all these uh, sources in the video, start with Krebs. But you look at uh, the Business Insider right up, you know, they're not adding too much more detail other than, you know, listing some of the countries out and um, speaking with Facebook. And, you know, that's a vulnerability allegedly that was patched in 2019. And this is common. Um, you can see it either way, but something might be um, breached and the bad guys might sit on it for some period of time, trying to shop it around to get the most value. Um, and then when they can't get the value they think they, they want, or maybe they get frustrated, uh, then they might just go ahead and release it. Or, you know, maybe there's no honor amongst thieves and they just, you know, someone along the way just decides to expose it and, uh, you know, hurt someone else uh, that might have been trying to profit from it. But um, have I been pwned is referenced both by Krebs and somewhere along the lines here. I'm going to jump to the have I been pwned site. If you haven't ever heard of this, again, I can't imagine if you're in InfoSec, but please check it out. Uh, Troy Hunt does some pretty good research. Again, no affiliation that I have or BTV has with Troy. I just respect um, the, the seemingly genuine um, efforts he's put out to do good and to help folks. And I don't think he's making anything. He's probably barely covering his costs if he's covering his costs. He's a good Twitter follow as well. Um, if you're nervous about putting in your phone number or email address, I can understand that uh, from a pure InfoSec standpoint. But, um, you know, Troy has uh, seemingly conducted himself and promised to not resell the data and all that. And I don't know uh, if you could ever hold someone to that for forever, but want to call, have I been phoned? You can now put in any email address or any phone number and just see if uh, your number or email comes up in any of those um, any, any databases, and he lists all the breaches that he's ingested, all the exposed uh, data that he's brought in to have I been pwned. So 
quick summary uh, as I link to Troy Hunt's page where he does the, the write up on uh, why he brought in that Facebook data. He had uh, his own kind of ethical debate uh, and I'll scroll down for in a moment and cover that. But, <clears throat> you know, quick summary is 500 plus million uh, international phone numbers related to Facebook exposed. Um, have I been pwned, brought in that data? It is searchable. Um, I'd encourage folks to at least read up a little bit and do some homework and uh, at least consider checking out your phone number if you are a Facebook user. And here's what I've referenced. You know, Troy had a, a genuine uh, struggle, I'll say, challenge, ethical debate, um, because there is pros and cons to bringing that data in and making it searchable. Um, so all he has is a quick yes, no, for if you, you know, send a phone number in. So that's it for this week. Again, um, all the links for everything will be in the description uh, somewhere down below. Uh, please do follow us, you know, on all our social media accounts, do all the, the social likes, subscribing, sharing stuff. It, uh, it does help us if you're getting anything out of this content. We'll be appreciated. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. Please have a good rest of the week and be well.